Oh, you who believe, give charity for the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan, night of Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you. My dear respected brothers in Islam, the month of Ramadan is going on. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to shower his mercy and tranquility upon all of us. My brothers, the carpet is being pulled from underneath our feet. The month is fasting, is going fast and quickly. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to shower his forgiveness upon all of us. For every single night, there are a group of people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees in their hearts the sincerity and the sense of devotion that qualifies them to be among those whose necks are being freed from the hellfire. I ask Allah to free all of our necks, to free our buds, bodies, our bones, all of our selves from the hellfire, we are not able to survive or even to bear the intensive heat of the hellfire. My brothers, in today's talk, we are, we are addressing the love of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad It is a part of the belief that a believer or a Muslim must love the companions of the Prophet. And on the top of those companions are the two top Abu Bakr and Umar ibn al-Khattab. Abu Bakr Siddiq, he had three major situations in the whole of his life that overweigh all the acts and deeds of most of the companions. Umar ibn al-Khattab himself, when he was talking about Abu Bakr, he said, I wish I'm just a hair in the body of the whole of Abu Bakr. And I wish that they spend only one night that Abu Bakr spent with the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is my brothers and sisters, the blessed night of Al-Hijrah, the immigration, when the Prophet Sallallahu was running away from the unbelievers in the cave of Thawr. And Abu Bakr was sitting with the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, preparing the place for him, filling all the gaps and all the holes of the snakes the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam having a nap and Abu Bakr actually was bitten by a snake. Some of the tears was falling, were falling from his eyes. When the unbelievers came and they started, the Prophet and Abu Bakr Siddiq started to see their feet and the hall of the cave. Abu Bakr cried and said, Oh Messenger of Allah! Had any one of them put his eyes in the place of his feet, he would actually witness us and observe us. Thereupon the Prophet said, Ya Aba Bakr, ma zannuka bithnayni, Allahu thalithuhuma. What do you think about two people? Allah is their third. Don't grieve, Allah is with us. The second situation is when the Prophet died and the companions of the Prophet وسلم, didn't believe that. Ali ibn Abi Talib is stuck to the ground. Uthman went everywhere aimlessly. Umar ibn al-Khattab took his sword and he started talking to the people whoever claims that Muhammad died, I'm going to smite his neck with the sword. Muhammad didn't die. He just went to meet his Lord as Moses السلام, went to meet him. Therefore, Abu Bakr Siddiq stood up among the masses of the Muslims on the pulpit of the Prophet Sallallahu We need to note that Abu Bakr did not step on the same place where the Prophet Sallallahu used to stay. Abu Bakr was actually sitting a step lower than the place of the Prophet. He looked at the people and said, O oh people, Whoever worships Muhammad, Muhammad has already passed away. 
and whoever worships Allah, Allah is the Almighty, Eternal, never dies. وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلِ أَفَإِنْ مَاتَ أَوْ قُتِلًا قَلَبْتُمْ عَلَىٰ أَعْقَابِكُمْ Muhammad is just a prophet who passed away, like the prophets preceding him. When he dies, you return back, renegades, apostating Islam. Umar ibn al-Khattab said, this is the first time I have the true meaning of this ayah. I recited a lot of time. It is as if the first time I recite this ayah. So Abu Bakr Siddiq gathered the whole nation, the whole ummah around the religion of Islam after the death of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Number three, Abu Bakr had a very critical situation when the Arabs actually started to renegade, to, aposta- to become apostates and they renounced it uh, paying the zakah, they rejected actually to pay the zakah. So most of the Arabs surrounding the Medina of the Prophet وسلم, became apostates. And it is reported that there were only three masajid, three mosques, who were announcing that were announcing a shahadatain, Shadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah in their minarets. The holy mosque in Mecca and the sacred mosque in Medina and another mosque in Bahrain. All the Arabs, they actually apostated Islam at that time. So he said, I will definitely, I will definitely launch all the wars against the Murtadin, the renegades. And he said, لَوْ مَنَعُونِ عِقَالَ أَبَعِيرٍ يَدْفَعُونَهُ لِرَسُولِ اللَّهِ I would have fighting against them. If they have prevented me, or they kept away a camel's rain that they used to give to the Prophet ﷺ in the form of zakah, I, would, I, I will fight against them to the last drop of blood in my body. And he collected all the people, and he started making the, launching the wars, and he won that, and he collected all the Arabs around Islam. There is a, another situation for Abu Bakr Siddiq that actually protected the millah and protected the religion of Islam. This is when he fulfilled the pledge of his beloved Prophet Muhammad wasallam. As I told you, when the Arabs became renegades and apostates, and the companion said to the, to the Khalifa, to the Caliph at the time, Ya Abu Bakr, the Arabs will attack the Medina. And he said, Wallahi, I swear by Allah that I will fulfill the promise, the promise of the Prophet ﷺ and I will send the army of Usama ibn Zayd. Because the Prophet ﷺ immediately before his death, he decided to send the army of Usama and he appointed Usama ibn Zayd as the leader of that army. So all the people contradicted the opinion of Abu Bakr and he stood alone by himself. And he swore by Allah that he is going to fight by himself. And the people followed Abu Bakr in his way to, to say a farewell or to say a goodbye to the army. Abu Bakr Siddiq was walking on his foot or on his feet. Abu Bakr Siddiq, may Allah have mercy upon him, had Usama on the horse. Usama said, O Caliph of the Messenger of Allah, Either you, took, you take my position riding on the horse or I walk on my feet. He said, no. I wish that my feet are being touched with the dirt in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look how humble he was, how wise Abu Bakr Siddiq was. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said about Abu Bakr Siddiq, when he was on the pulpit, immediately before his death, when the Prophet ﷺ was telling the Sahaba about the expectation of his death, he said a slave of Allah that Allah gave him the choice, either to live, to live for eternity in this life, or to meet Allah, to meet with Allah. And he chose the companionship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Abu Bakr Siddiq started to shed the tears because he knew that it is about the Prophet The Prophet was given the choice whether to live for eternity or to die and meet the Pro Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the people started to reprimand Abu Bakr Siddiq and the Prophet told him, stop. There is no body that gave us or made a favor for us, but we compensated him with the exception of Abu Bakr Siddiq. He made a lot of favors for us, and it is Allah only, the one who will compensate him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed in him the Quranic verses which says, وَسَيُجَنَّبُهَا الْأَتْقَى الَّذِي يُؤْتِي مَا لَهُ يَتَزَكَّى وَمَا لِأَحَدٍ عِنْدَهُ مِنْ نِعْمَةٍ تُجْزَى إِلَّا بِتِغَاءَ وَجْهِ رَبِّهِ الْأَعْلَى وَلَسَوْفَ يَرْضَى He will be driven away from the hellfire, the most elevated and purified. الْأَتْقَى And Allah will give him until he is pleased. And then Abu Bakr, when that verse was revealed to the Prophet وسلم, he said, I'm pleased with Allah as my Lord, with the Prophet Muhammad as my messenger, with the religion of Islam. I am pleased. I am pleased. May Allah please him. May Allah have pleasure upon us. May Allah have mercy upon all of us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh, you who believe, give charity for the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan, night of Ramadan.